NBA fans are the absolute worst. Or they can be. Some of them just come to the games, make some noise, cheer on their teams, and leave. But other fans come to the game, have a little bit too much to drink, and or start to feel entitled because of the fact that they paid for a ticket, and think they're allowed to do and say some just downright stupid things. Don't believe me? Just go on YouTube and type in Russell Westbrook gets into it with fans. As a matter of fact, I'll just show you myself. I'm not even talking to you, bro. Just sit down with your wife and shut the fuck up. I'll fuck him up. I'll fuck you up. You and your wife. I'll fuck you up. You fuck you up. Yo, fuck you up. Yo, fuck that. What's it meant to be for Russell Westbrook? And a fan with a little shove right there at the end is a heady but it's not just russ it happens to a lot of the other great players in the league and to be honest i kind of expect it to happen to players like russ just because they're just great players and when there's greatness there's envy and when there's envy there's outward expression of their envy but when you're talking trash to reggie jackson of all people that just lets me know you're you desperately just want to be seen and recognized being an NBA fan at a game, seeing spectacular athletes perform should be enough to satisfy your entertainment needs. But there's some where that isn't enough. Some feel the need to do the absolute most, like throw things onto the court. Or like this lady, who just walked on to the court of an active NBA game. Now they all got ejected at least and were rewarded for their stupid actions. But that still doesn't excuse the just stupidity of their actions. And it never will justify the actions of fans who do those outrageous things. Like, just think about it. If that fan years and years ago, Detroit Pistons versus Indiana Pacers, if that fan would have never poured that drink on Ron Artest, we would have never got the malice at the palace. Now, depending on who you ask, that may be a good or bad thing. But I just know that situation would not have escalated the way it did. But that's enough about the terrible NBA fan. Well, at least for now. I want to talk about some of the cool fans again. Like the guy who played catch with LeBron for a brief second at an NBA game. The fans that get to go out onto the court and like heave up a shot from half court at a chance to win $100,000. And if they make it, players like LeBron and Kevin Durant bum rush them and tackle them and celebrate with them. Those are good moments with fans that you would like to see. You also like to see celebrities at games some fans like rihanna <laughs> rihanna that's that's crazy but uh, I'm, I'm losing focus but um and we like seeing celebrities at nba games whether it be another athlete from a separate sport whether it be an actor like denzel washington or i don't know phil phil nicholson that's the guy right the guy who's always at the laker games phil nicholson it's Tacos. not Ooh. my name like jack nicholson he's always at this court side of a lakers game whenever they find themselves in a marquee matchup or the great spike lee or at least we like to see former nba players well take for example charles oakley i mean besides the fact he got thrown out from the game for still i don't i don't, I don't think there's any explanation as to why charles oakley was ejected from that game that one time but yeah we love seeing celebrities even if they don't even know what's happening on the court like Zlatan Ibrahimovic or Emily Clark. That's her name, right? Emma, Emily Clark? What's the girl's name from Game of Thrones, right? Is it Emily Stark? 12 seconds later. Amelia Clark. That's her name. Amelia Clark. But yeah, the way the world is right now. For the, for the majority of the season, going back to the NBA bubble, we hadn't seen any fans. And now this season, we're starting to see some fans pop up in, in, in different arenas. The, the, the capacity the uh, the capacity at which fans are allowed into the arenas are rising and rising and rising. I love seeing fans in the crowd. I just have a, a tremendous issue with fans that take things way too far. Along with probably a dozen other people, thousands, maybe even millions of other people that have an issue with fans that take things a little bit too far. But I can't lie, man. I can't lie. Sometimes, sometimes those interactions with those fans, I guess if you want to call them that, are entertaining. And in this time in the NBA, basketball itself, for a lot of people, is not cutting it. They need to feel like they're actually watching an event instead of just watching people just play a game. And the fans play a part of basketball, a basketball game being an event. So yeah, NBA fans can be the worst, but they can also be pretty cool as well. 
And as the pandemic and all these restrictions start to loosen up and we start to get fans back into these games, we're going to see a lot of fans do some some stupid stuff. I mean, we already kind of seen it with courtside Karen, but as arenas start to get filled up even more, we'll see a lot more. We're going to start seeing a lot more stupid fans do stupid things. Moral of the story is if you find yourself at an NBA game, just act normal. I promise you, you're going to have a great time. Just act normal.